By the way, since you and I have last had a conversation <laughs> yeah. on this show, and you poked merciless fun at me at the way I mimicked, I don't recall making that way. making a, a you know a, a, a tennis racket swing motion where I went <laughs> oh, like this, right. and now, you said it's not now like it's slamming a door. Back to me. Okay. Well, it's still a little it's haunted not, by it. Exactly, it's not like <laughs> slamming a door, Rich. You know, you got to put spin on it. I have since taken many. You, you inspired me and? to take many lessons. Good for you. Um, I'm I'm okay at it. I can't take. I probably you'd still w probably kick my ass a little. Well, bit sure. Here. I think everyone expects that, but still, <laughs> <laughs> I think still though. But I I, I, I know what you mean. Oh, about, I see a little you know, brush. Oh, I, I got see the brush. A brush. I got brush. <laughs> I got brush. I got brush. You've got <laughs> you zinc it up. I got brush. I'll brush it up. You zinc it up. Uh -huh. I'll brush it up. We'll see what's on. Uh -huh. Yeah. And what's the backswing look like? Is it? Oh, gonna, I'm, let I'm, me see the back. Oh, oh, oh right yeah. Here? Hold on. Up. Yeah, Whoa, one is it one hander? Uh, no. <laughs> I, you, yeah, you know, yeah, well, I do the one hander. I do. Wait I do. I don't do that. I don't do the two. You're talking about pickle. Uh, I am a pickle. Uh, I am a pickle guy. It's hard not to love it, right? Do you play? You want to hate it, but you, it's great. You're into it, right? I love it. Is it gonna take off though? Is it a spectator sport? No. No. I don't think so. Although, although I will although on I'm occasion. I'm sure golf is a spectator sport, and yet there it is. I will on occasion <laughs> see. <laughs> I will see on occasion a point or, or two and sure. stop and watch and maybe get a pointer and not actually put it into practice when I actually play. Sure. But I do love it. It's yeah. great. So you play. How often do you play pickle? Not as often. No, not as often as uh, as tennis. Okay. Uh, still pretending my knees uh, don't hurt. Okay. And uh, but I do love the pickle. And if it was, uh, I do. I'll tell you this. I was for years like a lot of tennis players. Like, oh come on. Like if you found out a buddy was playing pickle and that's why he couldn't play tennis. And then I went out there. Mm -hmm. And and. Three hours later, I was in my backyard going, honey, I feel like we could fit a court. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, it was so much fun. All right. Do you want to tell him what you say then? Every single time? Pickleball's brought up? Go well, ahead. Go ahead. Go well, ahead. Well, Say it to my well, buddy, Tim. Well, Tim, go ahead. I feel like we're friends. We go way back. We've sure. known you for a long time. You've sure, been coming Chris. on our shows. <laughs> um, how, how old are you again? No. <laughs> He's no year's age. Uh, According to Wikipedia, pickleball is 55, for, for but people... I still don't think that's right. <laughs> okay. Can't it's, confirm. It's for or people deny. of a certain age. Uh, oh. Uh, no, you're wrong. You're wrong. Yes. No, I, I was out there playing with uh, professional tennis players. Because Guys it's on a, the tour. Because it's a fad now. That's why. That's why they're into it. Well, this is uh, this is what uh, Chris, you're catching up to our conversation. I think it I think it started out with that sort of well, I guess I asked if it was a spectator sport, right? Which yeah. is not uh, that's a different story. It's, though. So it's not I'm not saying it's a fad. I don't think it's a fad. I think it's sticking around. It does so feel you, like it's cooled a little bit. No, it hasn't. Just pop, because I have stopped talking about it. I think it's it got it a lot as, going for it. It does taking up less space. Right. Everybody can play it. The entry level is good, but the people that are really good are. A real, it's pretty fun. So you played with people on a tour? Yeah, I played with like, yeah. Well, yeah I've, I've had a, a chance to play with some really good, some some ball players. Yeah, Do you want to drop a name or what? Come on. Big Sam Query. I know that's going to impress yeah, no, yeah, the, Big the, Sam the, Query. By the way, yeah. I was out there playing. That was my first time ever playing. Uh, my Sam, uh, Sam um, another guy plays on the pickleball tour, former mm -hmm. college tennis player, mm -hmm. and then my daughter who played college tennis. And so... I was, so I, I was there with three very good tennis players slash pickleball players. Yes. And um, it was a kick to play. And they were they were tagging the ball. And then t it was sweet. You had to learn like, how to dink it. And they know how to they they dink it. You had to do it. The little, Peter, the little Peter Dinklage every now and then. Yeah. This, it's this, the sound I could do without. Yeah. But it's pretty fun. Okay. There's a sweat involved. It, it's totally. Yeah. By the way, pay him no attention. Are you? You're just. Uh, you're a downer when it comes to pickle. Yes, he is. You're not alone, by the way. And then I challenged him, and he said, "I don't want to hurt my Achilles." The problem is, yeah. here's the problem: is oh, that God. I've really dug in on this stance, and I would feel like a pretty big hypocrite backpedaling. No, you wouldn't. Stop it. You can. No, still... you wouldn't be alone on that either. Yeah. You'd, be, you'd be on a line. You'd be on a line. You know I, mean? I was that guy. Be. I was that guy. Yes. You, we'd be. You, we'd just be closer. And I, that is one of my goals in life, is to be closer to Tim. <laughs> this is what we're doing here. And we're all a, just trying to come together. It'll be a great you know, finish figure it out. to Justified City Primeval, seeing Raylan Givens step in the kitchen, getting called for being in the kitchen. That'll be fantastic. Oh, my God. He would not be happy with that. Oh. If you know what? If this show goes well, and now I'm, I'm, uh, there's a plea to the viewers and the listeners, um, hmm. watch the show, because uh, I've always wanted to do another one after this one. Um, 
and by the way, it's good. So I'm not I'm not trying to cheat you. But if we bring it back, yes. I feel like Raylan's going to be playing pickle. Yeah, that alone in the hat, obviously in the hat. Of course. I mean, you can't. If you don't have the hat on, no one knows it's the show. They're what, like, what, what is the show? The most important question, since we're spitballing here and we're creating yeah, the second we're season of this how it Justified City Prime. This is just like talking with Quentin on the set. It pre premieres tomorrow. You at, and me with the pickleball exactly, idea. Exactly. At 10 p.m. Eastern. Put the wind in our sails. Exactly. And I don't allow cell phones on this set either. At 10 p.m. Eastern on FX. Uh, and you could watch it on Hulu the next day, which is available here on Roku. So, Hold on a second. We'll, we'll, okay. Sorry, I just want to <laughs> turn this off really quick. I don't want to. I, I had forgotten. Did, I had forgotten. Did, no, that's okay. I'm very Tarantino like <laughs> like that. Um, so, uh, would would Raylan zinc it up? Is the question? Does Raylan Givens zinc it up? Well, he's going to when he's playing pickle. Atta boy, for sure. I just love watching you kick ass and take names like this. Well, it's and that's so what's going to be cool is to see him go from playing pickle to kicking ass. <laughs> and by the way, it's going to do a lot for pickle. I feel like I think that might bring you around when you see Raylan playing pickle I mean. and then kicking ass. Right. I like that he has shortened it like Tom Cruise. Like yes. it's not pickle ball. It's pickle. It's what it's just stop talking. You just belie <laughs> your ignorance on the subject matter with each syllable you what utter into the Rick Cruise Cruise show microphone. Well, I don't get the reference. No, it just he, he's Cruise just, shortens words like, oh, I'm not working on Mission Impossible. I'm working on Mission. Rob Lowe told us right. that, that that's he, he learned from Tom Cruise yeah. the very badass way of talking about your filmography. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, for yeah, instance, yeah. you wouldn't have said, well, I was on the set of Once Upon a Time in no, Hollywood. No. Have, I was on the set of Hollywood. I was on the set of Hollywood. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm like. By the way, can we get back to Prime Evil? Just please. See what I did there? No, go. Let's do I it. Shortened please. It. Shortened it. Oh, I see. <laughs> wow. By the way, and I also, I told you earlier, also check out Circle. Because Circle's. Uh, circle's full circle. So, tell me, what, what is that circle. about with Soderbergh? What's that about? That is a, uh, uh, it's like a. Botch kidnapping mm -hmm. that just exposes everybody's dirty little secrets. It is so intense and so riveting. And the performances are so good. Claire and Danes, course, Dennis Quaid, you. Yeah. And sort of, it's, he is the, one of the smartest people I've ever come across. He's, he's what they call a, a genius. I would agree. Yeah. Um, he just doesn't miss. So it's, a, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Riveting. Okay. Riveting. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.